Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Um, while I was at work today, I got some news. Um, I got a text in the middle of one of the classes I was in from uh, the daughter of a longtime friend, a guy I've known for 39 years. And she said, hey, Joey, just to let you know, um, uh, my dad passed away this morning uh, in his sleep peacefully. And um, I immediately, you know, texted her back like, oh, my gosh, what happened? Is there anything that we can do? You know, we're praying for you and your family at this time. And um, she said oh, she, he had had a, uh, a routine heart procedure uh, yesterday. And um, sometime in the night, his heart just stopped. Now, here's a guy that I've known for 39 years who I consider a good friend. And, you know, he moved away, moved to Texas about seven or eight years ago. And we've kept in touch. And I was going through the string of uh, messages that we have sent back and forth over the years to each other. And, um, you know, as I was, as I was reading them, uh, tears came into my eyes because I realized how much uh, I will miss him. And even though we were only in contact with each other probably four or five times over the years, uh, per year I should say, um, those contacts meant something. You know, we had worked together for a long time. We had been friends together for a long time. And, and my heart aches. And as I was reading those texts, one of them jumped out at me, and I had forgotten about this. And he says, hey, uh, ever since my wife and I moved down here to Texas, I got to tell you, man, we started going to church again. We found a, a United Methodist church that we love and we're going to all the time. And I just want to tell you how much uh, my faith means to me. I watch your vlogs all the time, Ooh, right? And uh, he said, they mean the world to me. And he says, and I'll tell you something, Christ means everything to me now. Right? The best news ever. So as I go through this time of grieving for my friend, I don't grieve for him. I grieve for his family and myself as we will miss him dearly. And here's the thing. Looking at those texts, he has no pain, no sorrow. He is in the presence of of God Almighty and Jesus his Savior, and he is living for eternity in the presence of God. One day I hope to see him again, and it'll be a day of rejoicing as we go through these days. May God continue to help us to cherish those days that we have with those that we love, and remember how special they truly are. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.